Yo, really quick, you guys, this is Future King Sanders here. Um, I did have a little bit of a setback with the editing. Um, when my editor tried to edit it, there was just something that had gone wrong. Um, so I am going to be editing it here on my computer. So I do apologize about the way that it looks. But um, I do have some really great plays today. So make sure you guys do stick around. Thanks. Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy, King Sanders here, and we are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Friday, March 11th slate of NBA and college basketball games. I'm super excited to hop into it. I think we actually have a really good slate of both NBA and college basketball games, so I found three good plays from the NBA, and I found one fantastic college play. Uh, more than likely, I will add another college play tomorrow, but for right now, we do just have the one. Um, but first, I did just want to go ahead and say that we are on, on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Um, and I can't do that without your guys' help. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Also, I did just want to give a quick shout out here to all of our members. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do here for the channel, for all the support. Uh, thank you give. Thank you guys for giving such a small channel such a big chance, as I always say. So appreciate that so much. Next, I did just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to uh, my main man, Brady. Um, Brady is one of my childhood uh, best friends, and it is his birthday today. So we we got to we got to have a good day for my man Brady. Um, so you know, once again, shout out to him. If you are watching this video, Brady, happy birthday, my man. Hope you have a great rest of your day. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, we had another rough day yesterday, um, which is why I'm super confident in the plays today. I think that we do have a huge bounce back day today. So if you want, let's do a quick recap. As of yesterday, we had Harden over seven and a half rebounds versus Brooklyn. What in the heck was that game? That was absolutely atrocious to watch. And James Harden played like he's never touched a basketball in his life. He actually played awful. Um, and he literally finished with like 11, six and four. So, so I know that he hurt a lot of tickets tonight. So um, just absolutely nothing you can do there. But then we did have Golden State minus two and a half. That one did end up working out for us. Steph had a huge game and was able to uh, overcome the Denver Nuggets. Then we had West Virginia plus nine versus Kansas. West Virginia gets absolutely smoked, losing by like 20 something. Um, so it was not even close in that game. Then we had Maryland plus three. Um, they actually only ended up losing by four, so we just barely missed the push on that one. Um, fa um, Russell, he did end up missing a three with, like, when they were up. Wait, so Michigan State was up by two. Russell ends up missing a three um, to put them ahead, but unfortunately um, he did end up missing it. And then we did have our added play TCU plus five and a half versus Texas, and that one did end up cashing for us. So, um, you know, we did have a two and three day. Um, we had one finish right on the hook. Uh, Harden finished two rebounds short, and um, what was it? And West Virginia got absolutely smoked. So nothing you can do about that, but I found some really good plays, so let's go ahead and dive into it. First play of the day, R.J. Barrett over three and a half assists versus the Memphis Grizzlies at minus 120 odds. R.J. Barrett has covered this exact line in six straight games, and I think he does look to do that once again. And when it comes to the Memphis Grizzlies, they actually do allow quite a few or quite a good number of assists, actually. They allow the ninth most assists per game to opposing teams in general and the 13th most assists per game to opposing small forwards. So I think we see a pretty huge advantage here. And if you look at the New York Knicks, They've actually been running um, pretty much their entire offense through R.J. Barrett. So I think that for a guy that's getting a lot of usage rate, I think that this number is just way too low. Um, his average usage rate for the last seven games is 31.52%. So he's getting the ball a lot, and um, he has been really good at you know passing the rock. So I think, that, I think that we see another really great facilitating game here from R.J. Barrett. And when it comes to the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, we all know that they play at a super fast pace. They play at the sixth fastest pace in the entire NBA, um, as opposed to the New York Knicks, who usually play at a very slow pace. So I really do like this first play of the day. R.J. Barrett over three and a half assists versus Memphis at minus 120 odds. Our second play of the day is going to be the Charlotte Hornets minus one and a half versus the New Orleans Pelicans at minus 110 odds. Now, if you look at the Hornets, um, recently, it doesn't look like they've been very good. They have only covered in two of their last five games. But if you really dive into it, it's been against really quality teams. Um, they didn't cover against Boston. Then right before that, they played Brooklyn. 
Um, right before that, they played against Cleveland, which they did end up covering against Cleveland. Then they played against San Antonio, which they did end up covering. And then they played against Milwaukee. So um, they have only covered in two of their last five, but they've had a really tough stretch here. Um, and I don't think this Pelicans team is going to be quite as much, um, mostly because the Pelicans, as of tonight, will be without C.J. McCollum and Brandon Ingram. So that pretty much just leaves them with Jonas Valanciunas and Herb Jones, and that's pretty much it. Um, they are going to be missing, and I guess, um, and I guess they will have uh, Graham. Sorry, but um, I think that overall, I just think that this Hornets team is going to be a little bit better. And with no CJ McCollum or Brandon Ingram, it's going to be tough for this Pelicans team for sure. Now, as a road favorite this year, the uh, Charlotte Hornets are four and three against the spread, so covering more often than not. And on the road in general, they are just and they are 18, 15, and one against the spread. So I really love that. And if you look at the Pelicans, they they're coming off some pretty bad losses recently. They have lost three straight games. Um, the first one they did lose was against Denver, which is you know not, no surprise there. Denver's been red hot. Then they lost by Denver. Wow, they lost to Memphis. Um, but they lost by 21. It wasn't even like it was close. Then they lost to Orlando. So they haven't really been a really great team recently. And neither have the Hornets, but the Hornets have just had a much tougher schedule. So I really love this play here. Hornets minus one and a half versus Pelicans at minus 110 odds. And then our third and final NBA play is going to be Wendell Carter Jr. of my of my former Chicago Bulls. He's now on the Magic. Over 10 and a half rebounds versus the Minnesota Timberwolves at plus 110 odds. Um, Window Carter Jr. has covered this line in seven of his last eight games. And last game versus the Timberwolves, he did have 14 rebounds. So I think that this line is just a touch too low. And when it comes to the Minnesota Timberwolves, they actually do give up the 10th most rebounds per game to opposing power forwards. So they give up a pretty good number of rebounds to that power forward position. And when it comes to pace, both these teams love to get up and down. Minnesota plays at the third fastest pace and Orlando plays at the ninth fastest pace. So, um... I love this play here as well for plus value. I think that um, this line is just a little bit too low. So we're going to be taking Window Carter Jr. over 10.5 rebounds versus Minnesota Timberwolves at plus 110 odds. Um, so first I did just want to go ahead and say before we hop into the college play, I did have a lean here. I love Illinois here versus Indiana, but that's a super homer pick, and um, it just made me a little bit too nervous. I wanted to hammer it. Um, but I just couldn't make it my only official play of the day. So we're going with Arkansas, minus two versus LSU at minus 110 odds. Um, Arkansas is a road favorite this year. They are four and one against the spread. So they are covering 80% of the time as a road favorite. And on the road in general, they are seven and two against the spread. So they cover a lot more often than not. And in conference games this year, they've been really good as well. 12 and six against the spread in conference games, covering 67% of the time. And as a favorite in general, they are 15 and 11 against the spread. So really solid numbers here. And when it comes to LSU, on the other hand, um, they are just 9 and 10 against the spread in conference play. And they also haven't covered in their last two games. So they are kind of trending in the wrong direction and haven't been great in this conference. So I think we see a ton of value here for Arkansas for just a two-point spread. So that's going to be our college play today. Arkansas minus two versus LSU at minus 110 odds. Now, I probably will add another college play to my um, official card. So make sure you guys are following my Twitter and check the pinned comment section before um, before the games actually start. So that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did, did enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Like I said, we're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Um, I'd love to hit that by the end of the month, so hopefully we can do that. Um, but for now, this is King Center signing out. Peace.